good day viewers you are welcome how to solve this nice functional equations we are giving f of x squared plus 2x equals x plus 9 and we want to find f of x given this function so this is very easy to solve as when you consider the solution first from this domain we have our domain let's call it d to be equals x squared plus 2x but we are trying to make the entire of this domain to become x so what we do here is suppose i let from here let's say i let x plus 1 by squaring this let this equals suppose i choose letter t by expanding x plus 1 squared comparing it with when we have a plus b squared so this expansion gives us a squared plus 2ab plus b squared if x equals a and uh, our b here equals 1 it means we expand this out and by expanding this one out what we have here is x squared plus 2x plus 1 and everything here equals t we need x squared plus 2x as the subject of the formula then let's make it the subject here by making it the subject we have x squared plus 2x equals we take one to other side as we have t minus 1 this is what we have for x squared plus 2x and uh, everything is t minus 1 we are going to make this one a start equation and also if you consider from x plus 1 squared equals t I want to make x the subject of the formula from this stage. What we do is, we are going to take the square root of both sides from x squared plus 1, x plus 1 squared, then equals t. By taking the square root of both sides, we introduce plus or minus here, as we have x plus 1 equals plus or minus the square root of t. Then, by transferring one to other side, we are going to have x equals minus 1 plus or minus the square root of t. This is what we have for x as the subject of the formula. So what is now left to us is, we come back to the given function above and we replace the necessary thing like, we are going to replace x squared plus 2x as t minus 1. And we also replace x as minus 1 plus or minus uh, the square root of t. Then we are going to have f of f of t minus 1 equals, then we have x plus 9, but x here is given as minus 1 plus or minus the square root of t then plus plus 9 so this is what we have here then by doing the replacement we are going to have after we have replaced this we have f of t minus 1 equals minus 1 plus or minus square root of t plus 9 and by adding minus 1 plus 9 together here we have f of t minus 1 equals 8 plus or minus the square root of t. But the question here is, we need to find f of x. And both x and t are members of real number. So we just try and change this t to x as we have f of x minus 1 equals 8 
plus or minus the square root of x. So getting to this stage, we also need to find f of x, not f of x minus 1. So as the next step will be, so here we need f of x, and this is x minus 1. So for us to have x in this, it means that we are going to change this x by changing x, change x to x plus 1. So this will reduce to f of x. By doing that, we have f of, instead of x, we have it as x plus 1. And it will also affect this right hand side. Then we have plus 1 equals 8 plus or minus the square root of x plus 1. Then we have this as minus 1 already in the question. So this and this cancelled. When this cancelled, we have f of x equals this becomes 8 plus or minus the square root of x plus 1. This is the value for f of x, but with a condition here, because we have a root. So for this root, x here must greater than or equals to minus 1. So if x greater than or equals to minus 1, we are safe. So which means we have this domain here starting from minus 1 up. That is, after minus 1, we are going to have 0, we are going to have 1, 2 and others. So because if we start considering negative values like minus 2, this becomes a complex and we are after the real solutions. So this is how we solve this problem to this stage. Thanks for watching and if you are new here to this channel, please do to subscribe, turn on the notification bell and see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye bye.